how to create simple digital planner on Canva with hyperlinks tabs. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will show you how you can easily create a planner and add some hyperlink tabs to your planner for you to easily go to different pages of your planner. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I need to do is to look for a color palette so i will go ahead and visit this colors.co for a color palette and for example i will be choosing this palette here i will just click this three dots and then just click export and then just click image and just title the image here and click the export button here and that will be downloaded to your device and I already did. So I will just go ahead and go back to the Canva. So by the way, guys, just an overview for those who are not familiar with Canva yet. So Canva is a graphic design tools and you can create any design here for free. And also you can create PowerPoint presentation and even video editing. You can also do it here. So I get the free account. You just need to sign up. Sign up, you just need to provide your email and then create your password password and you can have your Canva account. So here I will just go ahead and click the create a design button here at the top right corner. So I will go ahead and go to custom size and I will just go ahead and enter the width and the height here and I will be choosing the inches since it is a planner and I will go ahead and enter the width here which will be 6.32 and also the height which is 8.17 so this is like the standard size but it will depends on you guys if what is the size of the planner that you want to do so after that i will just go ahead and create a new design and let's just wait for the load to finish here so now we have the blank canva over here so the first thing that I want to do is go to upload and I will upload the color palette that I just downloaded and then I will just upload the template here so that I can easily make use of this template. So I will just add it here. So I will go ahead and click add page and over here I can now start my design. So I will just go ahead and first add a box here or a shape. So like a square shape, for example, and then I will just go ahead and cover almost the whole page, but I will just add some space here because I will be adding something there and I will just change the color over here and I will just make use of the color that we have here. Let me just choose this one and I will just go ahead and add my text here my planner and I will just uh, highlight it and then change the font all right maybe something like that and let me just change the size here let me make it bigger and I will just add it here and I can also change the color if I like to maybe something like that and then the next thing that I will do is I will go ahead and search for a shape again, maybe a hexagon. All right, so something like this. I will go ahead and add this one and I will just rotate it. All right, and let me just move it here and let me just change the size, maybe something like that. And I will just go ahead and duplicate this one. All right. And then I will go ahead and select this two and then duplicate. All right, and I got 12 hexagons here added in this side. And I just selected all this hexagon. You can do this by uh, holding your shift key and then just clicking each of this element for you to multi-select everything. And then here I will just go ahead and click position and I will just go ahead and send them to back. And with that, we have this kind of elements here. And then what we can do next is that we can just change the color of each of this so it makes more attractive. 
All right, so I just changed the color each of this one over here. And the next thing that I will be doing is I will go ahead and add some text over here, like for the month. I will just go ahead and go to text, add some text, and I will just go ahead and add January here. And let me just go ahead and adjust this one. I will make it bigger. And then I will just go ahead and uh, rotate this one. 90 degree and I will just go ahead and place that one over here and of course I will change the color to white and then I will do the same thing over here all right so I already add the month over here so what we can do is that we can go ahead and also add some design here and over here inside elements I just search for aesthetic and let me just go ahead and make use of this one over here. You can design your planner anything you like. It's up to you guys. So I will just go ahead and change the transparency. And then let me just go ahead and search for calendar templates. And I will just choose this one for example. Add a new page. And then I will just copy this one over here and then I will just paste it here all right so we have the calendar now here let me just go ahead and move this one so we have something like this and then over here I will just go ahead and delete this one all right so we have this cover of our planner so I will go ahead and add some pages here and also add color to our pages. So I will just go ahead and make use of this. And then over here, you can add anything. Let me go ahead and look for a monthly planner. And I will just go ahead and make use of this one. All right, so we have something like this now. And then let's search for a weekly planner. All right, so maybe I will make use of this. Okay, and let me just change the color over here. Match our theme. All right, so we have this weekly planner now. And let me just go ahead and also adjust this one over here. Let me just go ahead and move this up. And I will just put the month here. So I will just copy this one and paste it. And this will be like, for example, for January. All right, so we have this one over here. Let me just go ahead and duplicate this one. And I will just rearrange this one later on. I will just go ahead and change the month for February. And then I will just go ahead and click this one, the grid view. And then I will just go ahead and move this one over here. And then I will go ahead and duplicate this again. Double click this one. And we're back over here. So what we can do is that we can also add some hyperlinks. So for this one, for example, I will click this one and then I will just go ahead and click this link, this like chain icon. And then over here, you can link this one to the different pages and link this to number three because that is for January. And what I can do now is that I can click this one and it will bring me directly to this page three. Let me go ahead and also add some hyperlink for the February. And let me just go ahead and delete the first page. It will automatically adjust also the link that you have here. So as you can see, if you check the link, it's now linked to the page two. So now we can download this one as a PDF. Let me go ahead and show you what it's gonna be look like. So PDF standard, download. And I will just go ahead and open this planner. So what I can do here is that I can click this one. And as you can see, it will automatically bring me to the monthly planner January. And for the February, if I click this one, it will bring me to the February planner. So that's how you can make use of the hyperlink and how you can use it. So I guess that's all for today's video. And thank you for watching.